What's up, family? It's Rebecca Louise, and welcome to your workout. Today, we are going to feel the burn in those abs, and we're going to tone our chest. Now, I'm going to give you modifications for every single exercise. So whether you're brand new to working out with me, or you've been doing this for a while, you are going to love this workout. Make sure that you tag me at Rebecca Louise Fitness on Instagram and Facebook for a shout out. You subscribe to the channel so you become part of our family, and let's get ready to feel that burn. Right, my friends, first exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up those weights. We're gonna take it into a bend over row. But we're gonna do a single, single, and then take it into a double. So pull that core in nice and tight. We're gonna take it through, through, and then both in towards your waist. That's it, here we go. So pull that belly button in, lifting up through the chest, pressing those feet nice and deep into the ground. We have got 30 seconds of exercise. You get a 15 second rest in between if you would like it, or you can just keep on going. And we are gonna superset, and then we're gonna take it through two rounds. That's it, squeeze those elbows in towards your waist, pull that belly button in, and then really bring that elbow squeeze. Here we go, give me one more and release. Okay, next exercise that we are gonna do, we're gonna take it into an overhead press, single, and then we're gonna squeeze that elbow in towards our waist. So we're gonna hold our weights like this, you're gonna take it all the way overhead, and then you're gonna bring that all the way through, and then you extend out to the back. So arm goes all the way up, push it up to the sky, pull that core in nice and tight, and then twist out to the back, working those obliques. Here we go, push it up, squeeze. That's it, out onto that diagonal. Here we go, we are gonna leave this workout feeling confident feeling alive, feeling better than we did when we first showed up today. Who wants to work on their confidence? This is what this one's all about. It is abs and chest and confidence. Here we go, all the way up to get out through the back. Now give me one more right here, all the way up and squeeze out to the back. We're gonna take it straight into those rows. So pull that core in nice and tight. Here we go, row and squeeze. Now take it in, double. Now think about using your back to lift those elbows up. You're not bringing your elbows up towards you. You are squeezing them in towards your chest. Here we go. Nice and slow and controlled. Take a nice big breath. Inhale through your nose. Give yourself a smile. You're here. You're going to feel better just when you smile, right? If you feel sad one day, let's change our physiological state. Let's bring that chest up nice and high. Squeeze those elbows in towards your waist. Here we go, you've got less than 10 seconds to go. Squeeze it in and gently release. Okay, we're gonna take it in, back into those overhead press. So we're gonna keep those elbows nice and tight in towards your waist for me. Press up over the top of your head and then take it back onto the diagonal. Now really think about nothing else is moving apart from your upper body. Keep those legs nice and straight and we're gonna twist that core. Here we go. Let's take it back over onto that right. Here we go, you're doing so good. Let's keep that body moving. Last time you have to do this exercise, I promise you, 10 seconds left to go right here. Push it up nice and strong. Keep those elbows into your waist every single time that you come back. Three, two, give me one more on the other side, and squeeze. All right, we're gonna come down to the ground. Alrighty, next exercise, we're gonna take our hands nice and wide on the outside of our mat. We're gonna press down and we're gonna tap the opposite shoulder. So pull that core in nice and tight. If you want to, you can take it up onto your toes, nice and flat down all the way up and tap either side. I'm gonna take it down onto my knees. So all the way through, squeeze that core and tap it out to the side. Here we go, you got 30 seconds right here. You got this, just keep on pushing forward. When you feel like giving up, just try two more. Remember, this workout is all about building your confidence. So you just have to show to yourself you can do a little bit extra. All right, here we go. Pull that belly button in nice and tight. You've got less than 10 seconds to go right here. Squeeze. Give me one more on the other side, all the way down, and tap that shoulder. Okay, you're gonna flip straight over onto your back into our ab exercise. You're gonna shoot those legs out, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, and then we're gonna bring one knee in at a time. So all the way here, and then squeeze that core nice and tight. 30 seconds, 
Let's go. Now, if you need to use a little bit of momentum, you can bring your arms over the top of your head and pull that core in nice and tight. Extend those legs long, bring that head all the way down to the ground, and let's keep on going. You got about 15 seconds to go. Breathe through it. Here we go, lifting up through the chest. Drop those shoulders down. Do not quit and really extend those legs nice and long. See if you can get them an inch or two closer to the ground. And let's go three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna flip back over into that push-up with the shoulder tap. So straight back into that chest exercise. So onto your knees, but lean slightly further forward. In three, two, one, let's go. Push those elbows out to the side, pull that core nice and tight and tap to the side. Try and keep that upper body nice and still as you can. Here we go. You've got 25 seconds on the clock. Tap that shoulder. Come on, you've got this. We're only doing these exercises twice through. So first time is a little practice. Second time, it's building that confidence and proving to yourself that you can do this. All right, here we go. Less than five seconds. Give me one more and gently release and flip straight on over onto your back. And we're gonna pull those legs straight out in front of us. And we're gonna take it into those sit-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Lifting up through the chest and extending nice and long. Here we go, you're looking so good, everybody. Just keep the body moving. Think about why did you show up to do? How are you creating more confidence with every single rep? I bet you that you are stronger than last week. You are stronger than last month and you are definitely everybody it's stronger than last year. So let's keep on pushing forward, creating confidence with every single rep. Lifting up through the chest, drop those shoulders down. Here we go, over halfway. Three, two, and one, and release. All right, those abs should be on fire. All righty, we are gonna grab both of those weights. We're gonna flip all the way over and we are gonna take it into a chest press, three little pulses, and then we're gonna bring those arms nice and slowly down. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, bring those legs up too. So you're gonna go all the way up, you're gonna take it in one, two, three pulses, and then push all the way up nice and strong. Here we go, one, two, three, and squeeze. Now tuck those hips underneath, pull that belly button nice and close in towards the spine. No gap between your back and your mat, and here we go, that's it. Dropping those elbows down, an inch or two up off the ground, bring those knees just a little bit further away to push yourself to the max, and here we go. You've got this, come on. Push those weights up nice and strong. Give me one more right here, and squeeze. Okay, you're gonna pop those weights gently over to the side. We're gonna take it into single leg flutter kicks. So you're gonna Extend both legs up to the sky. You're gonna drop your right leg down and we're just gonna flutter right here. Now you're gonna lift that chest up, bring those elbows out to the side and pull that core in nice and tight. You have got this. Every single movement is creating more confidence, is creating more belief in yourself that you can do it. Remember, every single step counts. Now pull that core in nice and tight, bring those elbows out to the side, lifting up a little bit higher through the chest. Here we go, you're doing so good. Now squeeze that core squeeze that belly button in bring those elbows out to the side lift up through the chest just a little bit higher for three two one and gently release okay we're going to take it over to the other side straight away so point both of those toes up let's drop that left leg down and let's pulse it out come on lift that chest up a little bit higher bringing those elbows out to the side you're looking so good you're looking so strong i know the abs are on fire i can feel it too because it's such a great exercise to do straight after you've done those chest presses especially if you brought your legs up oh my goodness i am feeling the burn right here okay you're doing so good Come on, keep that leg just fluttering. Now, if you need to make it a little bit more easier, just bring that leg up higher. That's it, here we go. Goal is to keep that back nice and flat onto the ground. Bring those elbows out to the side. Here we go, little flutter kicks for three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, this needs to be called the intense ab burn. All right. It's out to the side right here, and we're gonna do the same thing. So pull that belly button in, bring those knees up. You don't have to have them touching, just about an inch or two apart, and here we're gonna go. Push straight up, three little pulses right here, and then squeeze, that's it, here we go. Woo, those abs are on fire. You have got this, just keep on going. You're showing yourself that you can right here. Three little pulses, and then all the way up to the sky, that's it, one 
two, three, and extend. Dropping those elbows an inch or two off the ground. You've got this, come on. We are so close to completing that first 10 minutes. Pull that core in nice and tight. Three little pulses, push up, give me one more and release. Okay, let's take it back into those other kicks. Now you're gonna think, can I keep doing this? And the answer is yes. This is where we create that confidence. Both legs up to the sky, bring those elbows out, drop that left leg, that right leg down, and here we go. Little flutter kicks right here. Now, anytime that you feel your back coming off the ground, guess what we're gonna do? We're just gonna bring that leg up a little bit higher, because as your body gets tired, your form can start to go. So all we have to do is make slight adjustments. Really try and straighten both those legs. Now, if you have got a tight hamstring, it's okay. You can slightly bend this knee, but it's just gonna make it a little bit more challenging as you you extend that leg straight up to the sky. All right, bring those elbows out to the side. Give yourself a smile because you are here for three, two, one, and gently release. Bring those knees in towards your chest. Maybe just rock from side to side. I'm gonna take it straight over to the other side. So lifting up through the chest and elbows are out to the side. Let's drop that left leg down and we're gonna pulse it out. Just 30 seconds right here. Extend that leg nice and high up to the sky and breathe through this. Come on, this is what you came for the work out for this final two minutes to really feel that burn. Bring those elbows out to the side, lifting up a little bit higher through the chest. My abs are on fire. And if yours are not on fire right now, okay, extend that leg just a little bit lower towards the ground. The final part, here we go for these flutter kicks. You've got this, extend that leg up nice and high to the sky. Here we go and breathe through it for five, four, three, two, one and release. Bring those knees in towards your chest and gently roll up. Oh my goodness. Great job, everybody. You crushed that workout. And if you're like, hey, my abs were on fire and I'm ready to keep on going, guess what? You can get the full version of this workout and so many more on my app. Just head on over to btsfit.com and uh, you will get access on iOS and Android and a desktop version as well. And of course, check out all of the amazing workouts that we have here on my channel. You guys are amazing. I know that you felt that ab burn right at the end and I will see you on our next workout. Bye everybody!